Hi guys, it's me. How are all of you? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So today we're going to film a very different kind of video from the videos that I usually film on my channel. My channel is mainly fashion, makeup and hauls of fashion and makeup. But today I wanted to film something different because this is the kind of video that I actually really, really like. And it is what on, what's on my iPhone. I like watching this video so much that I thought, you know what, I'm going to film a video for my channel. And I know that there are many geeky girls out there just like me and I don't consider myself much of a tech I mean expert I'm obsessed with my new iPhone 7 plus that I, I've got to share the love and the obsession so I thought okay let's just film on what's in my I was gonna say what's in my bag but the thing is I love watching what's on my iPhone videos just as I lot was just as I like watching what's in my bag videos it's it's that okay I, I admit it so let's get started uh actually i watched the keynote on september 7th and I, it was so nice i mean that's how much the obsession was real okay i watched the keynote and i loved it and i saw the iphone 7 plus and the colors and everything although i knew that i was gonna go for rose gold but can I, let, let me totally let me be totally honest if I wasn't obsessed as I am with rose gold, I would have totally got the matte black. The matte black is sexy and chic and it's such a fabulous colour. But okay, that's that. Um, okay, so I made the pre-order on September 9th and I have to say I was super lucky. I don't know what happened. I logged on the website on, at 9 o'clock. That was when the pre-order started and the site crashed immediately. So what I actually did, I used the app of the Apple Store, the Apple Store app directly from my phone. And it was smooth and I finished in like in a matter of seconds. So, you know, quick and easy. And then after that, I obviously had to order a case. So I ordered this one from Milky Way on the Milky Way website. And these are really, really great cases. Okay, I don't want to go on a, I don't want to go on a tangent about the case, but Milky Way cases are really quality cases. I mean, despite the design and everything, which is super cute, the cases are great. But because I knew that the Milky Way case was going to get some time to arrive because it arrived all the way from the States. It took about almost three weeks. I also ordered from the Apple website the infamous silicone case by Apple. I have I obviously had to get it in this pinky colour. And um, the silicone cases by Apple too are amazing. They protect your phone. They are very, very nice. They give you a good grip to your phone. The only downside is they are kind of pricey. I think I paid this one about 45 euros, which is a lot for just a case. But for me, considering you're spending that m amount of money on the phone, I mean, don't risk it. Get a good case. So... Yes. And then a week later on September 16th, which was day one for the iPhone, it was delivered to my house and it was an exciting day. I was so um, stressed out actually a little bit because I kept calling home and said, did it arrive? Did the parcel arrive? Did the parcel arrive? And I think I drove my parents nuts that day, but never mind, never mind. And let me just say that I come from an iPhone 6. And um, at first when I got the iPhone 7 Plus, I was like, whoa, this is a really big phone. I wonder how I'm going to manage. But let me just tell you, if you are a bit in doubt and you think the same, uh, trust me, in a matter of, I don't want to say days, in a matter of hours, you will totally get used to the bigger size to the point that uh, I don't know how I managed to use the regular iPhone. Right, so this is my background. As you can see, it is a pinky, like little pig. And I love pink and I obviously like little pigs. That's the Touch ID, you open the phone and that's what you see. I have four pages of apps. Obviously, I do not use all these apps. So one thing that I really wanted to show you guys besides the background is actually my uh, ringtone. This is something that many girls don't show but I actually, I'm very curious and I like to know what people's ringtone is. Okay, so for a while I've had as a ringtone the typical Apple ringtone that everybody has, which is this one. But unfortunately, many people have this iPhone and especially in the office, when the when my, when my somebody's phone ring, I'm like, oh my God, is it mine? Is it not mine? So I decided to change it up and I got this one which is so cool, listen to it. It's called Work From Home Marimba Remix. It's 
Isn't it so cool? On the bottom row, I have four apps, the four apps that, and I've had this, these four apps on, the, on my bottom row for years. I think ever since I had my, an iPhone, I've had these four on the bottom, which is phone, mail, messages, and Safari. Then I have photos, and just to have a little fun, this is what I had yesterday for lunch. I went to my grandma's house, and she cooked bucatini because it, she, she knows that it's my dad's and my favorite pasta. So yes, the things our grandparents do. Then I have calendar, which is actually an app that I use quite a lot because I have become very forgetful. I don't know if it's the age. But I have, so I write everything down. I have YouTube, the YouTube app, and these are the videos on my channel, which I hope you have watched. <laughs> and then I have Notes, which is another app that I use quite a lot. And this is the notes that I've been going to quite often recently, and basically it's my wish list, okay? And then I have the Instagram app, obviously. And this is my page, it's Miss Expensive Pink, and these are my pictures. Then I have the Facebook app, uh, which is my private Facebook profile. Uh, Messenger for Facebook, Twitter. This is my Twitter profile, it's Miss Lara DL. But I think if you type Miss Expensive Pink, it would automatically bring you to my page. So definitely follow me on Twitter as well, because I write the most random things and thoughts that comes to my, fr to my head. Then I have Snapchat, which is also one of my favorites. I love Snapchat. You know what? Let's just do a snap right now. Hi guys, what's up? I am currently filming a video for you guys. And yes, and this is what I'm currently seeing. So Inception. Then I have the Blogger app, which is actually kind of an old app. I don't know why Blogger hasn't um, updated their app. I mean, as you can see from the font and everything, it is so old. I actually use this app to post like pictures and stuff like that. Whatever I post on Instagram or Twitter or even on YouTube, I always put it on my blog as well. Let's just say that my blog is like uh, something that unites all my social media. And then I have WhatsApp. Everybody has a WhatsApp. Thanks God. This is a picture that my cousin sent me. Happy Halloween. I wonder who that is. No idea. The Purse Forum, obviously, it's like the Bible for us girls that are obsessed with um, handbags, but also, you know, a bunch of other things like uh, accessories and things like that. The Purse Forum has a lot. And then I have an app called Line Camera, and I really, really like this app. I like the filters and all the other, like, tweaks you can put on your pictures. It's really, really cool. The filters are really, really nice. They, um, are even better than the ones you get on Instagram, I have to say. And then I have Expensify, which is a very painful app. I use this app to put all the expenses I have throughout the month. But honestly, I don't update it that much because as I said, it just, it hurts my eyes, okay? So I don't really use it that much. Spotify, yes, I use a lot. And recently I've been obsessed with the recent One Republic uh, album. Oh my my, I love One Republic a lot. And also the soundtrack of uh, Me Before You. Like that, like that, yes. And then on the bottom row I have contacts, maps. Maps I've learned to use a lot. It's such a, a helpful app and it's pretty good and precise. Then I have my movies because I love going to the cinemas. On the weekends, let's just say 90% of the time, you will find me in a cinema. That's, that's how much I love watching movies. Anyway, my movies is a pretty good app because not only it gives you like reviews and infos on the films that are currently showing, but it also like um, sees the cinemas that are near your area and gives you like the times and what films are available when and these sort of things. So yeah. And then the last app on the first page is FaceTime. I have a love-hate relationship with, Fa with FaceTime. I have no problem with FaceTime audio because it's like a normal phone call. But FaceTime video, I am, um, I mean, I've got to be in the right set of mind to do FaceTime video. So that's the first page of apps. Then we have the second page of apps with a folder of apps that I really don't use. Then I have another folder which is finance and the only app that I use in this uh, folder is my bank app. 
that have XE currency, which is an app in which there are all the different currencies and the exchange. Anyway, then have Shazam, which we all, I think all of us have on our phone. When we listen to a song and we don't know the title, we use Shazam and it gives us the title. Then I have a bunch of apps for editing pictures, which I don't really use that much because as I said, I use line camera a lot. And I'm very, I'm not really good at editing pictures. I'm very basic. I use the preset filters that's on the in, the, in the app because I'm not that good. But a new app that I recently found is Lala Lab. And this app is so cool because it allows you to print pictures that are directly on your phone. And let's just be honest, nowadays we all, we take a bunch of pictures from our phone. The majority of pictures we take are with our phone. Uh, but they just, we keep them on our phone and we hardly ever see them and it's actually nice to print them out. So with this app, it's so easy. You just you open your picture folders and select your pictures and print them. It's, it's really easy and I think this website is based in Germany. Then on the third page, we have Candy Crush. I don't play that as much. I actually don't play games at all on my phone. I usually play games on my um, iPad mini. Then I have iBooks, which is also another app that I don't really use on my iPhone. Um, there was a time in which I used to use iBooks on my iPad mini, but then I came to the conclusion that when it comes to reading, I like to use the physical book. Then, okay, so that's just that. I have a bunch of, let's say, um, apps that I use when I travel or when I'm planning my trip, let's just say, which is Booking, TripAdvisor, and Skyscanner. Stockard, or Stockard, I don't know how you pronounce that. It's a very useful app because in here I have all my Fidelity cards, basically. And uh, instead of, you know, when I go around shopping and stuff like that, I usually don't carry my full-size wallet. I just carry like uh, Louis Vuitton clay or stuff like that. And obviously I can't carry all my Fidelity cards in there. But if you have this app, you don't really need to because you just open the app and it has that, you know, barcode that the shop scans. And I have my Vodafone app, uh, Depop, which is another app that I really don't use. I, I actually downloaded it just for the sake of selling a pair of boots. I'm actually going to show it to you right now in case any of you are interested. These are the boots I'm selling. So, you know, if you want to... Uh, buy them. They are on Depop and uh, they are fry boots and I highly wore them. The App Store, obviously we all use the App Store to download apps. Apple Store, thanks God for the Apple Store because it's with the Apple Store app that I actually bought my iPhone. Not only this one, I also think when I bought the 4S, I used the Apple Store app, so it's cool. Find my iPhone, a very, very useful app. You all should have it. And then I have a bunch of shopping apps, basically. Amazon, thanks God for Amazon. Zara, Sephora, Luisa Via Roma, Farfetch, Kenzo, ASOS, MAC Cosmetic, Louis Vuitton, Neta Porte, Shopbop, and Etsy. I mean, uh, it's so easy to have the shopping app directly on your phone because it makes shopping that much easier. And then I have Super Guida TV. It's an Italian app to check out what is on TV. So yeah, girls, that is all I have on my iPhone. Um, nothing exciting. I don't think you learned anything new, but still I wanted to show you guys because I know it's just like what's in my bag. We're all curious and nosy. I want to see what other people have on their phone. Okay, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed filming it a lot. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if there are any apps that are useful and that you enjoy and that you think I should try out. I'm definitely all for that. And uh, yeah, so I will see you next time, I think, with a haul. Because if you follow me on Snapchat, you might have seen that I did a little bit of damage. Not a lot, but uh, there are some things that I wanted to get. So I will see you next time with a haul and right. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you're not already. I will always appreciate it. And until next time, bye-bye.